Welcome back to day number five of our 92 day video training series, teaching you how to craft, how to perfect that perfect offer, that absolute no brainer of an offer that whenever your coaching clients see it, that all they have to do is just sort of say to themselves, okay, this is it. This is the coach for me. This is the coaching services that they provide, the blind spots that they solve. So here, show me how, show me where, and how much I have to pay, sign up, send over the invoice to the invoicing department, press pay, happy days. So without further ado, let's get in. I'm going to share the screens with you. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk you through this step-by-step. Step. Remember, this is day five. We're going to be talking about the sales pipeline, getting your list into the sales pipeline and getting the sales pipeline operational. In other words, ready for business. Without further ado, let's get started. So day number five out of our 92 day video training series is all about getting more clients. How are we going to get more clients? We're going to get more clients by simply setting them up for success, setting you up for success. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you how to manage your list, why you should have a list, the importance of having a list, and then taking this list and integrating it into your sales pipeline. But first, the problem. How can I get more of my ideal targeted prospects, my ITPs, to watch these no like trust problem solving YouTube videos? That's a very good question. So let's take a, a, an example, a case in point. There, this is, let's say, a story of David versus Goliath. In other words, me, that's me pictured there with my son. I'm sure he's going to kill me after, <laughs> after I show this photograph. Uh, this is my son a few years ago. Uh, let's say I'll show you in a moment what he looks like now, completely different, <laughs> all grown up. And uh, this is the case of Lewis. Now, Lewis is a French bulldog that is owned by my friend, uh, Adrian. And as you can see from the picture, one of the ears uh, is smaller than the other one. So let's go into this and let's see. All right. So this is uh, the three of us and Lewis there in the bottom right hand corner. That's my son. That's my daughter. Now, then, if we look at this. So you see there, what you've got here is you've got a video from me and it's got 4 million views, 4 million views. Now you can see this here, 5.6 million views. This is Lewis and uh, 1.5 million views. There's 135,000 views uh, there. It goes on, it goes on, it goes on. And you see, uh, Lewis has made himself let's say very famous because he solves a very specific problem. He can source out this herb or as the people in North America say, herb without the H. And he can source out this very specific herb and the name of the herb in English is called dill. And the truth is, you see, just as I'm saying here, it's just like the hare and the tortoise. Yes, I was very, very, very slow to start. But over time, and armed with many more videos on many, many more YouTube channels, the rule of one or just a few of those videos versus many videos began to pay off. And you see now the solution. This is how you get more of your ideal targeted prospects to watch more of these no like trust these youtube videos and quite simply all you have to do is find out what are their top two aspirations and what are their top two challenges and you see this all came about when i was talking to a wonderful coach there yesterday and this coach had a beautiful pit bull a pit bull terrier and the the coach was trying to examine why whenever she was presenting her offer to her ideal targeted prospects, her ITPs, that when she was in the videos without the dog, without her dog, beautiful dog, by the way, the, the engagement was good. She was getting a few hundred views, sometimes a few hundred more, sometimes a few hundred less, but on average, there was quite a few hundred views each time. 
But whenever the dog was involved and the dog was being held in her lap and she was talking to the dog, something very special was happening. She was using a very specific language. Now think about this. If you are a pet owner, perhaps you're the pet owner of a beautiful horse or horses, beautiful cat or cats, beautiful dog or beautiful dogs. Whatever it is, if you are a pet owner, you will find out this one thing. If you analyze the language that you speak to your pet in, for example, this uh, the, the videos that I showed you a few moments ago, this was uh, Lewis the dog with a very famous celebrity chef in Poland. And his name is Robert, I have to pronounce this right or they will kill me, Markowicz. <laughs> Robert Markowicz. And Robert is a lovely man. He's like, let's say, the equivalent of Chef Gordon Ramsay uh, from Scotland in the United Kingdom, from Glasgow. And Chef Gordon Ramsay is perhaps known all over the world. And uh, Gordon definitely does. He's very, very proud. He's a very famous, a very accomplished chef. And over here in Poland, uh, Robert Markowicz is this famous celebrity chef. And whenever he puts himself there, he was really pleased to find out that, that there was this dog who liked to eat, who liked to source this herb called dill or copper in Polish. So he became known in Poland as the Copper Covid Pies, and he became known in the English circles as the Dildo Dog. Dill Dog. Okay, the Dill Dog, the dog who likes dill. Uh, because believe you me, very few dogs and also uh, quite a few humans uh, are not very partial of dill. And then this is what you're trying to do. You're trying to make these videos and you're trying to solve their challenges, their blind spots in a very easy, in a very simplistic language. Think the language of a sixth grader and think the language that, that they understand, but think the language of a pet owner and how these pet owners who are in love, who are infatuated with their pets, you know, because I know how much Adrian loves his dog uh, because I remember how much I loved all of my dogs. And you've probably seen them if you've watched some of these videos. Because what they're doing is, you're trying to echo in their words, their language repeated back to them about the challenges, the blind spots, the aspirations there that these people are trying to feel and repeat it back to them in a language that they understand. And then you are truly on what we call in Ireland, a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And it's as simple as that. Now, you see, remember our agenda there that we spoke about from the beginning of the video. See, what we're trying to accomplish, and you'll see this all in the longer format video, which we release every seven days, where we put together all of the six days as they have gone on so far in that week. Because remember, we're here together for this 13 and a half week program, okay? For these 92 days is a, is a recap of what has gone on so far. So now what we're trying to do with this list, because remember, this is the most important list that you're ever going to own. Like people ask me time and time again, what would you prefer, Paul? Some amazing coach this morning, she had 161,250 followers on LinkedIn. Or would you prefer something like 37,200 subscribers on your YouTube channel or your YouTube channels? Or would you prefer an email list of 250 prospects? The answer every single time that I would give them without a moment's hesitation are 250 subscribers to my email list because that you see people is a list that you own. Please keep it very safe. Upload it to Google Drive, upload it to iCloud, save it on your phone, save it on your smartphone inside the files, save it on your PC, save it on your MacBook Pro, Save it on your USB drive. Save it in as many different places as you can, because this is a list that you own. And this is a list that I would go back to time and time and time and time again. Because believe you me, as somebody said to me there the other day, oh, but Paul, this is a shiny new object. This is a shiny new strategy. And I said, what's that? And they said, this concept of helping people by actually helping them. And I said, no. This is a strategy there that is as old as time itself. 
Oh, yes. Okay, then. But what about email? Email is a new fangly thing. No, email is not a new fangly shiny new object. Email, the first email was sent in 1971. I was one year of age. That is not, believe you me, I am old, old as the hills, and this is not a shiny new object. Oh, but what about this concept of putting these videos onto YouTube? YouTube has been in existence since 2005, people. That's almost 20 years. But 20 years ago, YouTube looked completely different. YouTube was like Tinder. It was a dating site for IT nerds, people that could code amazing sites like Hotmail.com, like PayPal.com. These were PayPal employees. They worked for Mr. Elon Musk. And YouTube in those days was Tinder for IT professionals to meet other IT professionals, <laughs> the, the same sex, different sex, whatever. It was all about that. But this is what we're talking about. This is completely different, okay? And YouTube nowadays is the second largest search engine. It's the second largest, uh, they're the second largest social media platform. And it's the second largest TV channel in the world. So believe you me, uh, Google did not buy that just as a random purchase. You know, they went to Walmart and they said, oh, yes, can I have a YouTube, please? Oh, here you go, sir. Uh, Mr. Sergey Brin, Mr. Larry Page, here you go, $1.6 billion, billion with a B. They did not do that unintentionally. Their aim was very specific to create something. Remember, they're the owners of Google and they purchased this the second largest search engine. What was to become the second largest search engine? YouTube. And they did this very specifically because you see, by using this list and by promoting these YouTube videos, these problem solving, these no like trust videos, you will position yourself in a way that has authority, that has empathy, that shows that you are a coach that is head and shoulders above the rest because you're educating me. And you see in each and every single email, what we're going to do is we're going to encapsulate, we're going to attach this video, this video link on YouTube. Remember YouTube will be your, repos your repository, your library, let's say. And we're going to repeat the problem, the blind spot that you're solving. There we're going to repeat your solution, your coaching solution. In other words, you solve these problems of time management, team management. What was it that I heard today? The gastrointestinal healing. I thought that one was amazing. Or get yourself anointed with these essential oils. All of these amazing solutions there that, your, that your coaching services provide. And then what you've got to do is you've got to repeat the transformational benefits. In other words, the outcome that they will receive after going through your coaching solution. So remember, <laughs> so remember, this is the problem that I solve. I help coaches, I help people like you to get your message about the blind spots that you solve out to your ideal targeted prospects, your ITPs. And then by creating a series, think a playlist, Think a Spotify playlist or a YouTube playlist of these no like trust problem solving videos to, on YouTube. And then what we do is so that we can make these, your ITPs, your dream clients, more problem aware that a solution is close at hand and to see if they resonate with you and your coaching services, to see if you're a good fit you know, like those lobsters there that mate for life. So this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to form this bond, this unshakable almost bond, okay? And we're going to do this very via a series, a playlist of these carefully crafted video and document-based solutions. In other words, your irresistible offer. We're just going to package this in a way that makes this a complete no-brainer to your ITPs. So this is what it's all been about. And this is part five. This is day five of our quest to build, to build up this no-brainer of an offer and to get you more clients, to get you more dream clients, more clients that you deserve to get.
These clients are not going to be toe dippers, tire kickers, time wasters. These people are going to be seriously excited, enthused about the prospect of doing business with you. And in tomorrow's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you how to identify these dream 250 clients. And I'll explain why we're working with 250 clients. And then we're going to warm up this email address, the email address that you created on day number four. You remember this Google Workspace account? Remember, it does have to be Google, not iCloud, not Yahoo, not AOL, not CompuServe, not anything like that, but a Google Workspace email address. In other words, from a domain that you own, a secondary domain that you own, so that we protect the primary domain. And then we're going to reach out to them on social. So wherever they are active, wherever they're hanging out, maybe it's a Facebook group, maybe it's a dead Facebook group, top tip. Maybe it's a LinkedIn group, maybe it's LinkedIn, maybe it's uh, TikTok, maybe it's YouTube, maybe it's somewhere else. Maybe it's Twitter or X or whatever they call themselves this week. We're going to reach out to them and we're going to ask them to sign up to this no-brainer of an offer just like I do each and every single day. There are my team and I, what we do is we send out 100 offers to 100 of these fast paced, ambitious coaches. And if they're not fast paced, if they're not ambitious there, we use all of the identifying signals and to tell us that. And of course, those people are not sent an offer to, but to the rest of them, we feel it would be almost a disservice if we didn't contact them. So, P.S. This is our final soliloquy. Would you like to see our outstanding offer? So what you have to do is you have to simply click in the link in the comment section below at the top of the comment section below. And this for all of you coaches out there who have your YouTube channels and who don't have the comment section enabled, please, this is very important, very important. It has very good characteristics and possibilities for SEO. So how many outstanding offers have you made today? I always leave you with these two questions. How many outstanding offers have you made today? And much more importantly, how many rejections have you received? In other words, how many times have you been turned down? Believe you me, uh, today I was, I was slightly disappointed to find out that I've only had two rejections, two people turning me down. And in actual fact, they were very well formatted, turndowns. And what they did was they explained the reasons there for turning me down. And it wasn't actually a turndown. It wasn't actually a rejection. It was, sorry, Paul, but this is not suitable for me now at this moment in time. So well done to them. Set yourself daily rejection goals, weekly rejection goals, monthly rejection goals, quarterly rejection goals. This is such an important metric, people. Embrace rejection, make love to rejection, caress rejection. Rejection is so important. And it shouldn't be the case of, oh, no, Paul, I'm too frightened to appear on video. And then what they do in the next breath, they tell you, oh, yes, I love having these sessions on Zoom. Do you have your video turned on? Yes, I do. But I feel comfortable with that because it's a small number of people. But I couldn't possibly face the concept of uh, putting myself out on YouTube. So how do you want people to find out about you and about the amazing message, the amazing things that you solve? This gastrointestinal healing, these other things, this NLP practitioning, this life coaching, this transformational coaching. Um, I, I, I've got it all on my website. You've got it all on your website. OK, so let's imagine that there are 10 billion different websites out there. How are they expected to know about your website? Well, um, uh, there, I, I've also got it, my business card. Okay, you've also got it, your business card. Right, okay, so that's the same question. Believe you me, people, there is no channel better than YouTube for this purpose. Because you can craft the best post on LinkedIn, on X, on Facebook, on Instagram. But that, even if you get 100,000 or let's say a million comments, that post has a lifetime, a longevity of about six, seven, eight, nine hours. YouTube will always go exponentially. And perhaps at the beginning, you're only going to get your husband, your spouse, your wife, your partner, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your sister, your brother, 
your children to look at those videos. But after a while then, you're going to put it out in your email list to your dream 250, to your dream 500, to your dream 1000 clients or prospects. Past clients, current clients, prospect, prospective clients. But you're going to keep doing it. And remember, there, what we do inside our offer is we always tell people that this service is guaranteed. And this is our guarantee there to you, that if you take advantage of our offer, remember, the offer is at the top of the comment section below, then what we will do is there we will promise, we will guarantee to you these results. That whatever your goals are, if you say to us, okay, Paul, I want to find one corporate client within 90 days, 92 days. I want to find two to three uh, group clients. I want to find four to five one-to-one -one clients within these 92 days. Then that's fine. That's fair enough. And if we do not achieve that, then what we will do is we will work for you for free for a further 92 days. As long as you have taken all of the actions that we prescribe to you. It's a bit like if you go to the physician and the physician tells you, okay, you've got to take one Advil three times a day, <laughs> one Nurofen tablet three times a day. And then if you come back to them uh, <laughs> three weeks later and say, well, doctor, I'm very, very sorry, but I've still got this headache. And how many times did you take the Advil? How many times did you take the Nurofen? Is I would love to be your wingman, your marketing support person. There I can work with the marketing teams to help to train them up. I work with coaches. There I work with coaches, fast paced, ambitious entrepreneurial coaches who are prepared to make a dramatic difference by using these videos, by building these videos with me according to my formula for these problem solving videos, these no like trust videos that we're going to put out into an email list and we're going to email these people. And we're just going to be providing value, 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 and more value. Okay. But remember, we've got to make those offers. How many offers did you make today? And more importantly, how many times did you get rejected? Turn down today. Thank you for watching. And as always, this is me, PG Mac, saying peace out, bye for now, and see you tomorrow.